Governor, how much damage do you think was done between the time of the first Comey letter to Congress saying that he was basically reopening the investigation based on what he'd seen on Anthony Weiner's laptop and yesterday with him saying he's closing the investigation and there would be no further probe into Mrs. Clinton's email. Well, it certainly changed the momentum uh, in a significant way, but I think the more important part is that, you know, Donald Trump has revealed himself again and again that he, everyone's a liar if they don't agree with him. And if he thinks someone's guilty, he's going to make sure they go to jail. He's, you know, basically bragged about what can only be called sexual assault and then denied he ever really did it. I mean, his problem with coming to grips with the truth is just every single day. And I think that's the, what comes out again and again in this issue is that he can't he, he can't keep his mind on one path. He's, he says one thing one moment, one thing another. I mean, that's what's, to me, the most revealing of the whole issue, mm. is it's always rigged if it's against him. Uh, he praises people yeah. who agree with him. That's no way to be president. Governor, I can't help but notice that you pivoted away from talking about Hillary Clinton to Donald Trump. And I'm wondering if that's the strategy for these last 24 hours. If the campaign, <laughs> if the Clinton campaign surrogates um, and the campaign are just going to talk about Donald Trump's negatives, mostly. Well, because otherwise we'd have to attack Comey. I mean, clearly he, he made a statement 11 days ago that this could be relevant. He created all this expectation that there had to be something significant in this large collection of emails, uh, and they went through and obviously sorted through them, found the ones that had to do with Hillary Clinton in any way, uh, went through them, and there was nothing. Again, there was nothing. So either we have to go and attack someone who, you know, the FBI, maybe they're not perfect, and I think in this case James Comey really wasn't perfect, but they are our government, right? They're doing the best they can. I think the vast majority of those guys, it's not rigged. I don't think he was out there trying to take down Hillary Clinton. I think he made a terrible mistake. I really do. But I don't want to go dwell on it. I'd rather talk about the crucial stuff, which is, and again, no, no one in the campaign gave me instructions. I haven't talked to anyone in the campaign in the last 24 hours. No one said, here's what our line is. But I think anybody with, with, with decent eyesight can say, this, this is the, the future that a, a Trump presidency would be, and it's unacceptable, right? There's no respect for the truth 